Hello and welcome to this little fun project where we're going to track the ISS or the International Space Station with Python. So if we're going to talk about the ISS, um, which is something most of us consider as a worthy example of what can happen when we work together. And NASA, among other agencies, uses a wealth of Python code on board the ISS in order to help automate routines. So if you're considering a career in space, then learning Python is a must-have skill. So in this fun Python project, we're going to track the ISS. We're going to display the number of astronauts on board, as you can see on the right side of the screen. We're going to update the station's current latitude and longitude every five seconds, while also displaying your current latitude and longitude. And as you can see, we are tracking the ISS in real time. So if you have noticed, it's moving as it's updating each five seconds with the latitude and longitude. Okay, so this is the final result of our project. Now let's go ahead and dissect each part. First, we need to get a hold of a map of the world and an image of the ISS to use as an icon like you see here. So I got my folder here and I have two pictures, the iss.gif, which is the icon, and map.gif, which is the main map that we're going to use. And the display of the map here I'm using is 1280 by 700. And for the icon, I think it was 32 by 32. It should be small enough in order to move freely on the map. We're going to be working with different modules in this project. And as we're going to be using Turtle module and a component of tkinter, the downloaded images will need to be converted to GIF. And since this is the default and recommended image format, you can easily look up a converter online. And I will leave the link in the description section below so you can use it. So moving to the world map, so you can go ahead and type in Google world map, JPEG or Google world map, and you can save it, then you can convert it to GIF format Similarly with the ISS icon, you can download whatever you like and also convert it to GIF format. We're also going to be using an open source API to retrieve real-time data online regarding the status of the ISS. And an API enables applications to communicate with one another by providing the raw data that you can pull out and interact with your own code. So in our case here, the API in question is a web-based collection of raw data that's stored in JSON format. And we have two of them, one which is containing the names of the astronauts currently on board, and the other one contains the data regarding the current location of the ISS in longitude and latitude. And if you can see here, latitude and longitude, and if I will refresh, you'll see that it's changing. Give it a few seconds, refresh, you can see that it's changing. And in our program, we're going to refresh the page each five seconds. So let me talk very briefly about the modules that we're going to be using in this project. So we're going to work with JSON, Turtle, URLib.request, Time, and Web Browser. And we're also going to need a third-party library called GeoCoder, but more on that later. So the JSON and URLib.request modules deal with the data being pulled from the APIs. Turtle will display the graphics. The web browser module will open text files in the default text file application. Now the geocoder module or library. This is a new element and we will need to install it via pip install geocoder. And basically what geocoder does, it retrieves your location based on your IP address because each ISP or internet service provider will have a geo-specific IP. So this is what GeoCoder does. It retrieves your location based on your IP address. Okay, let's go ahead and import our modules. Okay, perfect. So the first thing that we want to do here is we want to retrieve the name of all the astronauts currently on board of the ISS. And also we want our own latitude and longitude. So let's go ahead and create a variable. We will call it URL. And this is the URL of the API of the current astronauts. Just I will copy it, paste it here. 
Next, we will create a variable called response. This will be equal to the URL lib dot request dot a method called URL open. And we're going to utilize our URL object in order to open the API. Then we're going to create another variable called result. Now let's use our JSON module dot a method called loads. And inside loads, we will have the response dot method called read in order to read the response brought from the API. Now let's have a variable, we'll call it file. And file will be equal to our open method. We want to open a text file. Even if it's not created, Python will create it for us by default. So we will call it iss.txt. And the second argument is writing because we want to write on that file. Then file.write and let's say there are currently Let's concatenate that with the result. And the result will have an index of number because we want the actual number of the astronauts on board. The only thing that I want to do is I want to convert the result into a string. So it will be concatenated and printed properly. Okay, now we want to get the names of the people or the astronauts. So people will be equal to result with the index of people. And if you will open that file, you will find what I'm talking about. So let's go ahead and open that. So you get number, which is seven people and the name of the people in the form of a list. All right. So this is what we're doing here. We're getting the number and the people. Just to be consistent, I will use double quotes. And we want to use a for loop in order to iterate over the people and print each name. So we will say for p in people. So we want to write on our file the name of each astronaut. So we'll use file dot the write method. And inside here, we will use the p iterator with the index of each name plus space we will say on board plus and let's add a new line after each name. All right, so we're done here with the names of the astronauts. Now let's go ahead and print our current latitude and longitude in the text file. To do that, we will need an object, we will call it G and we'll use the geocoder.ip method and here simply we'll say me. So maybe I need to add a comment. So here we'll say print longitude and latitude. Then let's actually print that. So file dot write on a new line and we'll say your current latitude and longitude is colon plus the actual longitude and latitude. So g object dot lat lng. But the problem with this is this is an integer. So we will need to convert it into a string. Okay, now it will be printed properly. And last thing we need to do is we need to close the file and we want to open the text file. So web browser, which is our module dot open and the name of our file is iss.txt. All right, so let's go ahead actually and try that. So python main.py. So there it is, it has opened very nicely. Uh, there are currently seven astronauts on the ISS. The names and your current latitude, longitude is your latitude and longitude. The second part of the program is where we're going to set up the graphical window that contains the world map and the ISS icon. So let's go ahead and set up the world map in turtle. Let's create an object. We will call it screen and screen will be equal to the turtle module dot screen method. And we want to do the setup or the display. So screen dot setup. And we said that we want 1 to 80, the width by 720, which is the height screen dot a method called set world coordinates. And the set world coordinates syntax mark the boundaries of the screen. So it creates the X and Y coordinates of the four corners of the canvas. 
so that the ISS icon can freely travel across the map of the world and wrap itself back to the opposite side when it reaches an edge. Let's go ahead and load the world map image. So let's say load the world map image and we will use the screen object dot bgpic or background picture and we want to use our map dot gif and again screen object dot a method called register underscore shape and as you can see this method adds a turtle shape to the turtle screens shape list so shape and here we will say iss dot gif and now we're actually going to move the iss.gif or the icon of the iss so let's create another object we'll call it iss which will be equal to turtle dot turtle with a capital t which is the main class then iss.shape and the shape will be equal to the picture itself so iss.gif and we want to give the pen shape an angle of 45 degrees when it's moving and for that there is a method called set heading so iss.set heading here we will pass 45 which is the angle of the pen then we will move the pen up so iss.pen up which means that there is no more drawing okay let's check out the progress so far so python main.py okay so the image was opened then closed again um, so what we can do we can say input stop and let's run that one more time okay so this is on the other screen so there it is so this is the world map and this is the ISS icon so it's not moving yet it's stable we will need to load the current status of the ISS in real time let's have a while loop so we'll say while true here we will load the current status of the ISS in real time so let's have the second API which will be a URL and let me copy it real quick and let's paste it then we will have a response exactly like we have done right here so you know what I'm going to copy these two lines and paste them here just make sure you indent properly all right now we want to extract the ISS location and let's create a location object or variable and this will be equal to result with ISS underscore position index then we will have our two criteria the latitude and the longitude so lat or latitude will be equal to location with the index of latitude and if you will open the API link you will see this information right here and the same for the longitude so LON and here will be longitude so you see what we have done we have created a location variable we have displayed the ISS position which is an index in the result which is what we have displayed from the JSON data in the API and we have stored it in a variable called location then we have used the location with different indexes the latitude and longitude and we have saved them in two different variables lat and long all right and now we want to print the latitude and the longitude to the console or the terminal so let's say output to the terminal um, output longitude and latitude to the terminal so lat will be equal to float lat so we're overwriting the latitude to be in a form of a float and the same with the longitude float longitude and let's go ahead and print them so let's print them properly we'll say latitude plus and let's concatenate that so string of latitude because it's a float now and similarly with the longitude And the last thing we need to do is we need to update the ISS location on the map. So update the ISS location on the map.
All right, so ISS dot go to, and as you can see what go to does, it moves the turtle to an absolute position. And our two arguments are the longitude and the latitude. Then let's refresh each five seconds like we have said. So we'll give time to sleep five seconds. So this what does actually, it stops moving on the map and sleeping for five seconds, then moving, then sleep for five seconds again, then moving, then sleeping, and so on. All right, we are done with our program. Now let's go ahead and test it. So say python main.py. All right, so you can see the ISS icon is moving in real time, depending on the latitude and longitude provided by the API. At the same time, it's bringing the latitude and longitude in numerical values here. It's moving here on the map. And also we have displayed the names of the astronauts currently on board of the ISS and also displaying our current latitude and longitude. All right, so this was our project for tracking the ISS with Python. I hope you liked the video. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next videos.